السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم بیک ٹو دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف دا ٹوٹوریل آن مائکروسافٹ ایکسل ان دا پریویس ویڈیو یو ہیو لرنڈ اباؤٹ مائکروسافٹ ایکسل انٹر فیس انٹروڈکشن ایز ویل ایز ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اینڈ ایڈیٹ اسپریڈ شیٹ ناؤ موونگ فارورڈ ٹو دا فارمیٹنگ ڈیٹا یو کین اپلائی فارمیٹنگ آن یور ٹیکس بائی فرسٹ سلیکٹنگ اٹ ایٹ دین گو ٹو دا فون سیکشن آف ہوم ٹیب Here you can choose option according to the requirement of your worksheet. I can change the size here, color from here, background color from here and these buttons are called the toggle buttons because they show dual behavior. See the difference. You can also add border to your selected region first select the data and then go to this section when i press here this drop down menu appears with different options select your required option you can also align your data from these options you can apply color and shading on your worksheet by first selecting the area and then go to the font section of home tab from this option you can change the background color according to your need students you can also change the style of this table from this option students as you can see The name section is not completely displayed. To remove this problem, wrap text option is used. Wrap text is a feature that allows you to display text in a cell on multiple lines. Excel automatically adjusts the row height to accommodate the text. First, you have to select the column and then click on the wrap text option. You can see the text is wrapped students you should keep in mind one thing that this option works only for text not numbers or formulas you can also complete a number sequence like this when this plus sign appears drag it and select the option of fill series from this drop down menu The process of sorting the numbers is as follows. First, select the numbers and then press the right mouse button and select the option of sort. Sort smallest to largest, sort largest to smallest. I am clicking on sort smallest to largest. Click on the sort key and you will see it is sorted by following the same procedure you can sort the alphabets too i am sorting a to z and you can see the difference sometimes you have to apply formatting on the numbers to apply formatting first select your column then go to the number section this windows appear here i am choosing the option of number three decimal places and click okay you can see the result students sometime you have to write date of birth according to a specific format for this purpose first select the column and go to the number section and choose the option of date from here you can select any format according to your requirement for example i am selecting this okay now when i am typing you can see the result formula calculation formulas are used to do mathematical calculations 
दे कैन टेक वैल्यूज एंड सेल रेफरेंस एज इनपुट फॉर्मूलाज ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद एन इक्वल साइन हेर आर द टू एग्जाम्पल्स इन द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल थ्री एंड फोर आर द वैल्यूज वाइल इन द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल ए वन एंड ए टू इज द सेल रेफरेंस ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला एक्सेल प्लस द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन इन टू वैल्यू ऑफ ए टू बाई यूजिंग सेल रेफरेंस आई कैन कैलकुलेट फॉर्मूलाज लाइक दिस फॉर एडिशन equal sign then click on the number plus sign and then click on the second number and by pressing enter you will get result for subtraction equal sign get the address of first number minus sign second number cell reference and by pressing enter key you will get result for multiplication similar procedure equal sign first digit multiply sign second digit and for division equal sign first digit division sign and second digit cell reference and by pressing enter key you will get result students you can apply these formulas on multiple numbers also functions functions are predefined formulas that perform specific task or we can say they are formulas with a name each function is followed by a function symbol that is parenthesis functions are typed with an equal sign followed by function name for example here sum is the function name and a1 and a5 are the cell names showing cell range let's start with some basic functions of microsoft excel first is sum the sum function adds all the values of cells in the argument in the first example the value of cell reference a1 is added into the value of cell reference a5 while in the second example the values from cell reference a1 to a5 are added students there is a result card in which i want to calculate the total marks to calculate marks i can write equal sign sum function small bracket start and the cell reference of first number then comma cell reference of second number similarly third number comma fourth number comma fifth number comma sixth number and then close the bracket and by pressing equal sign you will get the total marks and in the second case you can write it like equal sign sum function bracket start and click on the first cell reference number then press a column sign and click on the last cell reference by closing the bracket you will get result it's up to you which one you want to use average function this function determines the average of the values included in the argument it calculates the sum of the cells and then divides that value by the number of the cells in the argument for example the value of c1 to c5 are added and divided by 5 and then gives result and in the second example these values are added and by dividing on 4 it gives us the average students to find the average of these marks you can use the function of average like this equal sign average 
parenthesis start and then I am giving it the cell reference of first number. Colon and the cell reference of last number. By closing the bracket and pressing the enter key, you will get the average marks. Mean function derived from minimum. This function determines the lowest cell value included in the argument. In the first example, the mean function returns us the value 5. And in the second example, it will calculate the minimum value from cell range A1 to B2. To find the minimum value, you will use the function of min like this. Equal min function parenthesis start and then gives the cell range. Then close the parenthesis and press enter key. You will get minimum marks. Max function. This function determines the highest cell value included in the argument. In the first example, the max function returns the highest value 56. And in the second example, it will calculate the highest value from the range of A1 to B2 and give us the result. To find the maximum marks, you will use max function like this. Equal max and then give the cell address. And this is the result. Count function. This function counts the number of cells with numerical data in the argument. This function is useful for quickly counting items in a cell range. For example, the first example will give us the result 5. And the second example will count the numbers from B1 to B6 and give us the result 6. To get the number of items into your worksheet, count function is used. And by following the same procedure, you can get the total count of the subjects like this.